What's up, everybody? I got my glasses on today because my eye, my right eye has been twitching like for three days straight. And I think it's because of all this blue light and computer strain and dryness of the contacts. So I've been using my, not sponsored, you know what I'm saying? My Theratears. The more juicy and moisty and lubricated your eyes are, the better your vision is, the better your eye quality is. You see what I'm saying? That's not it though. That's not it. I got more upgrades for y'all. So we got a brand new mixer. So y'all know I've been doing the scenes. I did make this scene a little bit different, but I got a new mixer. And what's cool about this one is it replaces, because before I had my audio set up kind of crazy and you would notice that every once in a while you would hear like this crack in the audio and that shit was driving me crazy but i didn't i couldn't figure out what it was so what i think it was was i had too much going to different things so before i had my old mixer which is an analog mixer hooked up to the auto tune box hooked up to the new mixer that i had and that was like a lot of like wires jumping from thing to thing so now all we got is the auto tune box and then this mixer which this mixer can do reverb, which was a big thing because you know, when we want to get into some song action. We don't wanna have no problems with no motherfucking auto tune. Whenever I want to, I can flip on that, that reverb. We can go real high with it. So we like in a damn church or we can go real low with it. And it's just a little bit. We got the auto tune hooked up, you know what I'm saying, right there. We got a pitch voice. So I could be a motherfucking alien in this bitch, nigga. You know what I'm saying? We could be a motherfucking little alien, nigga. And then we got an echo and the auto tune. So we could be an alien auto tune. You see what I'm saying? So we could be real angelical with this shit. We could go back normal. Or we could go back normal and just be like on some chill shit with the auto tune. And they know that I gotta be a G to the day that I'm gone. Still rapping for the south side of town. Still rolling on chrome. You got different ones too. And you know that I gotta be a G. To the day that I'm gone, still rapping for the south side of town, still rolling on Chrome Valley. Yo, yo. And you know that I gotta be a G. To the day that I'm gone, still rapping for the south side of town. But that's not it though. We also got denoise, which is cool because if it's ever loud in here, I could just hit denoise and then all you hear is my voice and then it cuts all the back end air off, which is kind of nice. I'm not a huge fan of it right now because it ain't that much noise in here. But in the time that, you know, I did shoot an OnlyFans video with me and Nyla. I did shoot that. So if y'all want to go check that out, it's on OnlyFans. The reason I did it is because we was chilling in here and I was like, yo, I got the new mod. Let's let's go ahead and christen the house with a good OnlyFans video for the Sims. You know what I'm saying? So if y'all want to check that out, go ahead over there to the OF, support your boy, and go check out some of that X-rated content. But over here on youtube so you, we, we changed a few things i got a picture right there that was actually after the only fans video beautiful picture by the way beautiful picture love that picture and then we got this picture right here which is cool and then in the bedroom we just got a city skyline and this from the original well not original series but one of the old series that we did on the channel a great one Y'all got to go back and watch some of the old ones if y'all ain't watched them because um, they were good. I always have made good Sim series, man, just with crazy storylines. It almost sound like I got on auto tune right now, but I don't think I do. I just think it's the way the audio sounds because it's in stereo. I don't know, but there's also another apartment. That, so, so, so yesterday I was gonna record this, but I ended up doing all this with the mixer and cleaning up this room. This room was a complete mess the other day. And I had to, um, I had to actually tear everything up. So the whole room was a mess. I had like four fans in here. I had took everything out the closet and I, and I did that yesterday instead of recording. But it's cool though, it's cool. And we are gonna get on that Call of Duty. I know y'all probably don't care, but we are gonna get on that Call of Duty with my boy Jay, that's the producer, you know what I'm saying? Jay about to come through with the, with the heat for me with the music but uh off camera though 
I was working on another apartment that I liked. Now this one, this one might be one we actually buy pretty soon because it's a little bit bigger. So it's in the same building. It's just the one next door, which actually is really cool from the outside too, because when you look at it from the outside, it's like this whole floor is more modern than the rest of the building. Y'all, let's see what I'm saying in a minute. Okay, so y'all might remember this if y'all been on the channel a long time. This apartment, we did like this a long time ago, but I redid it. So this is the new layout. Now I'm not finished because I still gotta do the bathrooms, but I like this apartment way, 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 way better. I forgot about this one. So with this one, it's still only a one bedroom, but with this apartment, you get a little bit more space. So you get like a full dining room. I got the waterfall over there with my logo. I got like the kitchen is more modernized with the new cabinets I used at the other place. Got a little fireplace. We got a beautiful view. I mean, it's more in the projects of the Sims, but it's still a beautiful view. And then the bedroom is looking pretty decent. It's not finished yet but it's looking pretty decent. Got Corey Kenshin on the TV. And then I wanna make this a, a ensuite bathroom. And then I wanna make the other one just the main bathroom. So I was thinking about doing that real quick and then trying to move in here. We probably should at least finish this though. I don't know if y'all feel like sitting through a little bit more building, but why not, man? I, I couldn't figure out the layout. I know the layout for this one, how it's gonna go. It's gonna be sink, sink, mirror, boom, done, easy. But in this one, I could not figure out the layout for the life of me. And I don't even know if I want to have a fish tank in here. I mean, it's kind of cool, but at the same time, it's like, do you really need a fish tank in your bedroom? Not really. You really don't. But would it be kind of official if you did? Mm, possibly. Nice water sounds when you're trying to go to sleep. Y'all know me. I like to have a little bit of ambient sounds going. So I got birds all in through them. <laughs> so I got birds in my house and I have crickets in my house and I have waterfalls in my house. Not literally, of course. <laughs> Not literally. I have bird sounds in my bathroom. I got cricket sounds near the back of my bed. And then I have water sounds in this room. So it's just for like what the what the occasion is. So like when I'm getting ready to go to sleep, I want it to feel like it's like late night with cricket, summer late night type stuff. And then when I'm in the bathroom, I don't know, birds just felt more nature. -y. It's like you taking a dookie in, in nature. I like that. And then you got like, um, and then water in here, just because water is kind of flowy. It's like, I don't know, something about the flow. It just sounds good in here. So I got the water flowing in here. You really don't hear it that much over the computer though. Cause this computer be, <laughs> computer be moving, yo. It's not like a fan is on in here all the time. I really need to get a new case for my computer because what happened was is my fans are terrible. I don't know if y'all know, y'all know what kind of computer I got? Y'all probably don't know that. Some of the real ones might that's been around a long ass time. So I got an Alienware Area 51 back in 2013. That was my first business purchase for the YouTube because I used to record off this old laptop. Y'all know if y'all been watching since Sims three times, I used to record, have terrible problems with that. And what's crazy is I got more famous and more popular, more views, more everything when I had the shittiest computer. <laughs> It doesn't even make sense, but does it? Hey, that just go to show you, you don't always need fancy stuff to make it, man. Sometimes you just need the personality and the story. You got the personality and the story, you'll be fine. This is, these are terrible sinks. I don't like these sinks at all, man, like at all. But yeah, I got that. I got this computer back in 2013. And of course I upgraded the graphics card on it twice or once. So now it's got a RTX 3080 Ti, I believe. Yeah, 3080 Ti in it. And it's still perfectly fine. But what happened was, is all my fans kind of got shitty and they started whistling. So that whistling noise was kind of driving me crazy and I decided to unplug them. And you might be saying, Sonny, why in the hell would you unplug your fans? How are you gonna cool your computer? Well, the Area 51 is actually a big ass triangle. So what I did was I went ahead and took it upon myself to just take the doors off of it. So the whole inside of the computer is just out basically the doors are on the side of it so you just have the airflow go directly into the computer without needing a fan so i haven't had my fans turned on on this computer in like 
three years, which maybe is causing damage. I don't think so because it stays pretty cool. The only time it gets crazy is when I'm playing like Call of Duty, the new one, because that can just pull on it. But it's wide open though. So all the airflow is, and it's right in front of my vent. So when the air conditioner is on, I open up the vent and then it's just like cold air going directly inside the computer, which you really can't get better than that. Is it hella ghetto, hella like ratchet, hella, hella like low budget? Yes, it is. But you know what? It's cool. One day we'll get us a new PC, build one, and it'll have real fans and liquid cooling and all of that. But until then, we don't really need all that. You know what I mean? All we need is a computer and a little box and a mic. I remember that's what Flocka used to say. Walker Flocka back in the day, he like, I just had a box and a little mic. And that's all you need, man. Like, he, that's true. That's all you need. You need a box, a computer, and a mic. And you pretty much can do whatever you want to. You could be a podcaster. You could be a gamer. You could be a streamer. Not so much streaming because streaming requires more computer power, I think. But you can pretty much do whatever you want to with a box, which the box is the mixer, a mic, and a computer. Pretty much do whatever you want to. If you want to, though. See, sometimes people just be like, I want to do that. But they don't really be wanting to do it. I knew somebody like that in the past. Wanted to do every damn thing they saw, but didn't never put no effort into it. So it's like, if you don't put no effort into it it ain't never gonna come to fruition because you got to put effort in this shit brody you can't just say you want to do everything and do nothing content creation you would be a sad little boy or girl if you expect this to just pop off for you immediately and if it don't you're gonna start hating it because this shit you never know what's gonna happen with content creation i was just trying to make a little shower i mean i know it's not it's not a big area so i wasn't trying to go too crazy i do want this to still feel real realistic though like how he was doing with the other one so i'm trying to give it all the little details that'll make it get that feel what side would you want the toilet paper on if you was wiping your ass <laughs> i would say i guess on this side right it seemed kind of weird to reach it you almost would want it probably should move this toilet over and then put it like right what you say about right there it's a lot of empty space right here though like what are we gonna put right there well you could put some art on the wall something pretty long could definitely put some art on the wall i'm not gonna leave this tile i can't be i don't know what i want this picture to be it needs to be something that matches this room this kind of matches but i don't know we'll see this picture in the bathroom though yo, this is a beautiful picture what if i what if i did something crazy and like theme the bathroom to this picture would that be insane or would that be kind of dope i think you're borderline insane on this one but you know we could still try it out i just get tired of doing the same thing i know y'all probably get tired of seeing the same thing like i want to do different shit like how when we did the um the martin apartment martin apartment is legendary i actually wanted to go back and do that again because the martin apartment was just such a vibe it wasn't so much just about it being the martin apartment it was just the fact that we had did something that was like based on a show and it felt like the show it was just really cool i wish i had different color i did find some dope rugs though i don't know if y'all noticed that i had got some dope rugs in this custom content i'm i mean i don't even know i'm sure it's from michaela's stuff because michaela's stuff is so nice but like we have all these different things it's crazy michaela offered to help me organize my custom content and i really was gonna have her do it and i really was gonna like try and make this like organized but it's like bruh i just literally erased all of that ever coming up into intuition or whatever because i just put every single mod i ever had back in the game so we're back to like 40 50 000 mods and i don't know what's what half the shit's probably broken but you know <laughs> this to me is the most fun to play the game if you're gonna play the game that's how i like to play the game it's busted and broken as it might be it's still cool let's try this middle piece again try that middle centerpiece i got it kind of small i still don't think i like it how y'all feel about this bathroom though i like the wall color i don't like the floor color though floor color is killing it it needs to be dark we need to stick with the black floors stick with the black floors <sighs> no these cabinets ain't really doing doing what they need to do either cabinets ain't really doing what they need to do i've been kind of lazy and just doing this because these go so good and they're double sinks and they look modern and they're out the way but i don't know if i want to use them in here i do like how low key they are they just like real out the way i could try something totally different do something like this mm. 
Yo, wouldn't it be cool in the future, The Sims 5 or whatever they call it, it kind of have a vibe like um, House Flipper where you could like decorate inside a little bit more close like how, how this is. Like say we was, we was able to actually like be in this bathroom like right here and then decorate the counter and put stuff on the counter and really like get more close to what you building. I think that would be real nice, real nice. Wow, this is a dope sink. Oh, it's too big. Damn, that, that actually was nice as hell. I was about to go with that. Mm, I don't like when they do the sinks like that. It makes it look like a, a bathroom in a public setting. Like if you're gonna do it separated like that, it needs to be able to connect some kind of way. These colors are terrible. All right, I'm gonna just have to go back and do what I, what I was gonna do to begin with, and that's build my own cabinets. Let's just go with these. Black with the marble top, those was nice. And then let's try and get us a nice sink. Most of these look like kitchen sinks though. But I guess the difference between a kitchen sink and a bathroom sink doesn't really matter. It's all about the setting. I don't know if painting these walls was a good idea. I do like theming that to the to the picture though. It actually made that look kind of cool, but I just don't know. It's kind of doing too much. It's making this bathroom like way too playhouse looking. Yo, this kind of goes in here. It's just like so aggressive though. Trying to shoot whoever's in the shower is kind of crazy. But at the same time, if I could take this damn, I would say if I could make that the right color, that's going to be a nice look in there. I want something a little bit more luxurious than what we got. I mean, them rugs are cool because they theme properly, but like they're very, I want something more like this. Y'all know this is my favorite rug, but you see how nice it looks though? Like mostly there, like that's definitely a vibe right there. Oh, you know what? We ain't even used that in the bathroom. Yo, let's do that. Let's do that. Let's make this toilet better too. What's, what's the best toilet? Why are we spending $2,000 on a toilet? I don't know. Are we gonna spend that? We spent 18 on this one. That one's not really, 2000 on the toilet is crazy, but toilets always break. So it's like kind of worth it in a sense. I would like to put a little rug around this toilet too, but if I did it like this, would you notice that's the same rug? Or would you just think it's like, you kind of can notice it's the same rug, but you know what? How much do we really care? That's the question we got to ask ourselves. How much do we really care? Cause that's kind of a vibe in there with the, with the woodsy look with the, if I add a little stone somewhere, that stone might just throw that into a whole nother dimension. That might just throw that right where we need it to be. That stone is too bright. Yeah. Like a stone like that. I just don't know what wall would I want to do it on. Maybe that wall and maybe in the shower, maybe just on that wall in the shower i don't know you probably would need to do this whole wall though because the shower will be getting wet they're like yo b let's put the robe right there yeah let's put the robe right there let's get another robe let's make the other robe a little smaller kind of looks like a kid robe never mind make that a little smaller a smaller shorter yeah like that matter of fact these really don't have much of a use so i could kind of just put them right next to each other like that is that too high up though uh no, I think they cool. I think they cool. I like that bathroom though. I like that bathroom. And then we could even do a little light switch if we just want to get really crazy with it. Y'all want to get really crazy with it? Let's just do a little light switch. Let's do a little light switch. I come, oh, the placement. I'm always confused with the placement. Like, do I put them high enough, too low? Is it this serious? Probably not, but like, why not? It just kind of adds to the realism. I had an outlet somewhere. Let's see if I can find that outlet. <laughs> Outlet, outlet, yo bitch is an outlet. She go to the outlet, see about the outlet. Hey, any of y'all, any of y'all um from Cleveland and got grandparents that's still alive, that's probably like 80 or 90, even 70 possibly, but definitely 80 or 90 from the Cleveland area or were from the Cleveland area. Cause y'all actually might know my grandparents or they might actually know my grandparents if they was from Cleveland and they're old. Cause my grandfather, was kind of a celebrity down in the hood because of his cleaners. You know, it kind of, it sucks because if honestly, if my, my grandpa would have listened to my dad, cause my dad wanted to take the cleaners to the suburbs, but my grandpa was scared to take his cleaner to the suburbs because of course, you know, 
back in the day racism and the shit wasn't the same like it is now now you can do what you want to do but back then it was kind of like listen we'll leave you alone you stay here you start coming into our shit shit's about to go south so my dad didn't care though he was like yo we could take this to such and such because it was starting to change but my grandpa was so scared to do it because he was like no nah, we ain't gonna take this down and mess with them white folks like it's crazy actually thinking about it but my pops was like man I ain't like that no more I ain't like that no more but he just would not do it so it ended up just falling apart <laughs> it's kind of like it never happened this kind of go back to what i was telling you if your grandparents your parents they kind of carry your generation if anybody makes mistakes in between there then you got to start over so now since we didn't keep that business going now i got to start over again and we got to build this shit back up you know what i'm saying it's it's very interesting how that how that plays out but yeah if y'all got grandparents from the cleveland area Ask them if they know about Sonny's Cleaners. It was named after, well, it was named. See, this is what I think. I might be like a second or third because my great grandfather's name was my dad's first name. Or my great grandfather's name was my name. And then my grandpa named my dad's middle name, my name. And now my name is my first name. So I don't know. I honestly don't know. I wish I did know more. That's the only downside of people dying and like you don't really, you're not old enough to really ask the right questions when they're here. So <laughs> when they gone, it's like, damn, you just don't know the answers to that. I talked to my grandma a lot though, like before she died, like, cause we used to, I always used to be down in my grandma's house. So I used to ask her about back in the day and like how shit was segregated. And y'all know my great grandma was actually a slave. So she used to tell me about her and how she would beat her ass and <laughs> the day of the water fountains, the bathrooms, how she, my grandma used to get picked on because she was lighter than the other kids. But then the white kids used to pick on it. It was, it was crazy, bro. I actually might like I'm not going to put it in the video because it's going to be too long, but I might have a video somewhere where we was talking about that shit and i was recording it because it was after i had an iphone and when i got an iphone i was recording everything just because i was like yo one day i'm gonna want to have this shit and i'm gonna want to remember this so i'm gonna record it so i got like i got so many memories that's backed up on hard drives and everything just because you never know when somebody ain't gonna be here no more man so that's advice to y'all if y'all don't record shit which i y'all should <laughs> I mean, we got the technology now, but if y'all don't record like y'all parents, y'all grandparents, like make sure y'all just throw the camera on, man. Just put the camera in the corner of the house or something. Just let it record like an hour, two hours, just them being them in their house. Because at first you won't even be looking at it, but then when they gone, it's like, damn, you could go back and relive a moment for like an hour, two hours of just your people living in their environment and just being them so i would recommend y'all record even if y'all just go into voice memos hit the voice memo and just set your phone down and y'all have family dinner or like just kicking it or when your parents telling you the same story a hundred million times you tired of hearing it just record it on your phone and then one day i'm telling you you gonna miss it man i wish i would have recorded more of my pops because my pops used to be talking all the time same story type shit but they was good stories when he was young and the shit he did it's like damn i could have remembered i could have told you the story word for word 10 years ago but now i don't even remember half of them so it's like damn i wish i would have recorded some of it because now it's like damn i don't even remember half of them so yeah man make sure y'all record y'all people and uh one day you'll definitely be glad you did because i got a lot of footage in my family i even used to record show you how old i am I used to record on a cassette tape. I had this cassette recorder because my grandma used to always buy these cassette recorders. I don't know why, but she liked them. So she would buy these cassette recorders and I would always take them and play with them and she would end up giving them to me. So I always had a good Sony uh, tape recorder and I would just put a cassette in that joint and just hit record and just let it record like just random shit in the house like we talking or whatever like christmas even i think i had it with me one time when i went to a school play and you could hear me in the background talking to my friends and shit like i used to always just record moments and i'm, I'm glad i did i'm actually really glad i did but the only downside to doing that is that you run out of data extremely fast like i have probably 20 terabytes of data scattered around it's like backed up because i'm really redundant with the way i back shit up that sounds crazy because of the sexual <laughs> 
That sounds crazy. I back that shit up. But now you know what I'm talking about. Like I back up the data. So if something ever happens to my computer, the data is backed up somewhere else. Because if you don't do that, you take a risk. You take a real big risk. That's never happened to me, but I know it can happen. It's happened to me in the past, but not in modern times where you lose data randomly. But still, I wouldn't take no chance. Death too, because you never know. Somebody come in your house, they're going to take your laptop. But if you got a hard drive somewhere else sitting somewhere random or you got it in a different location they ain't gonna take that and that's what's most important your memories and shit people be stealing hard drives now though because they think you got cryptos on there i had seen a story a long time ago this rich dude like they stole something and he just wanted his hard drive back and people were saying he wanted it back because he had cryptos on there but he was saying he wanted it back because all his family memories was on there and i'm like damn bro you a multi-millionaire and you didn't think to back up your data i mean damn you would have think somebody would have advised you to do that like hey sir think you need to back up your data sir he probably was like oh, i ain't got time for that shit buddy I'm trying to go hit the golf course like, yeah, man, but see, now you ain't got your family memories, bruh. Gotta have your family memories, bruh. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just kind of copying and pasting the exact thing I did in the other bathroom because I like that color scheme so much. But I might be making a pretty big mistake by doing that, but we'll see. I don't know where I'm putting the shower at, though. That's the one thing that I just don't know. I mean, three sinks is like really, really, really overkill to the point where it's like, why don't you just do one sink with decorations on the side we got the toilet there we got the picture here I, I put this here intentionally because it's pipes here that you can't get rid of this would have been a be a great place for a shower can't put a shower here unless i get something like maybe uh it's even that those pipes look terrible i don't know why they like stuck there i mean it's kind of realistic in apartments you got stuff that you can't move but go back to that but yeah i don't know they're really in the way though they in the way like a bit i ain't gonna lie I ain't gonna tell no lie to nobody. They in the way like a bit. I mean, if I put them like that, they still like really in the way. What if I just moved them out? That's kind of weird. I mean, I could do that though. I could move it out. Cause moving it out kind of keeps it. Wait, let me see something else real quick too. What about this one? Yeah, that looks ridiculous. I could just move it out though. So if I moved it out, what if I did this? Moved it out like this. So put a little wall there and then just moved it right beyond the wall. Take it a little bit that way. I mean, it's kind of sticking out a little bit, but at the same time, it ain't that big of a deal. What y'all think? Let's go in, let's go in tab mode. I mean, it's kind of stupid. I'm not gonna lie, kind of dumb looking. I love the sink though. The sink is great. Damn, what the hell am I doing right now? The sink is great. I love the sink, but like, I like that as a, as a shower area though. This is a shower area is actually, I can't wait to hear the audio, make sure it's not popping no more. That used to get on my last nerve. I, I, nobody ever said nothing in the comments about it. Probably cause y'all listen on your phone most of the time. You didn't really notice it that much on your phone. But if y'all did just know I was working my hardest to try to get rid of it. And we finally should have got rid of it because this new mixer is nice. I want to get some new sound effects too, man. I got, um, I got a couple in mind that I want to get. I want to steal a couple from some streamers. Like I want to get that Undertaker sound effect. That's a classic one. I want to get Say Dada. Say Dada. When 21 Savage was on uh, Kai Stream. So whenever I do some shit, I can just hit that. Say Dada. Say Dada. I want to get that. I want to get a. I want to get another Tyler one because got to have Tyler in there somewhere. We already got the we friends what though. The fuck? Whoops, <laughs> we already got, we already got this one. But we friends though. But you know what I'm saying? We, we need one that's different though. Like, cause that don't really make a lot of sense. Like, why is she saying we friends though? But um, I will get some more that make more sense. What should we do with this shower, y'all? These pipes are so ugly. I was thinking if I do the shower this way, I mean, they really ain't gonna be in the way. I don't think it's just look wise. Like, do you want to look at them shower? <laughs> Do you want to look at them showers that look like that? This one fits perfect, but it's just like, yo, the amount of... You can't get a better fit than that, though. That is a great fit. It is just... What if... What if what I did... What, what if what, what if we did this? What if we did the same situation? What if we blocked it in some? So what if we did a block? I mean, it's a little better. 
mean, I could block the whole shower off, but that's kind of dumb. Cause you're still gonna have to have a doorway. I would probably just do an archway at this point. I could do a glass door. Well, you don't notice it as much. I ain't gonna lie, you don't notice it as much. It's definitely not as apparent from in the bathroom. That's, that actually, you know what? The pipe's not even loaded in, yeah. That's actually not bad. I mean, you can still see the pipes, but it's a whole lot less intrusive. I don't even know if they can use the shower though. I'm gonna have to try that out before I say that's 100% perfect, but I'm pretty sure I like that better than any other way. I just wanna put a little bit of something above the toilet. We got all kind of pictures we could put up. I didn't even realize we had so many different types of collages. That collage almost fits right there perfectly, don't it? But do you really want a picture collage in your bathroom? Like that shit don't even make sense. Yeah, let's just go with this one. Matter of fact, they got a few of them. They got a pink one. Yeah, 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 yeah. I like that. I like that. I like that. Matter of fact, I like that one a little bit better. It's got more of the color scheme. Yeah, this is nice, man. This is nice. This is coming out real nice. Moments to remember. Bon appetit. Home is where love resides. Memories are created. Friends, friends are welcome. Mm, I mean, this one's not bad. And it's it's like in the middle between being two. Like it's it's the perfect size. Let's go with that one, but let's change this picture. Cause that picture does not fit that saying at all. I mean, that one's cool, but we already got that one. Oh no, we didn't have that one in here. We don't have that one in here. Home is where love resides. Memories are created. Friends are always welcome and families are forever. I mean, you can't get a better picture than that, right? I could go with this one too. This was a good series, man. I had three wives and they was all fine as hell. I would love to have three wives that are totally different like that. She got like a beautiful dark skin, a beautiful Asian woman, and like a beautiful like Latina or something like that. <sighs> beautiful white woman, black woman, Asian woman. Gotta, gotta get the Indian in there. Like that's why I don't know why people have race as a type. Like when people say they have a type and they like, oh, I don't date this kind of girl, I don't take that. I mean, I used to say that too. I didn't used to like white girls at one point in time at all. But then it was like, why am I being racist? <laughs> so it's like, you know what I'm saying? I mean, you kind of just grow up with a preference one way or another, but you realize, man, when you get older, it's like, bro, you kind of foolish to have a racial preference because you don't never know when that fine ass girl gonna come that's got her head right. And then if you get lucky enough to get that, you don't know what race she gonna be. You don't even know if she gonna be from the United States. So the last thing you wanna do is put another filter on what you're looking for. You're looking for a good woman. That should be your, as, as us fellas, that's, that's our thing. You're looking for a good woman, yo. You want a good woman that's maybe good woman that's in shape. Leave it at that because you start putting race on top of it and religion on top of it. And like, man, fuck all that. Before you know it, you're going you gonna to put yourself out of, out of the market with all them damn filters you got on what you're looking for. I kind of like these plants a little bit better than them other ones. What y'all think? Well, I kind of like it better than this one. I got these random plants everywhere because I was like, it looks a little bit more realistic that you don't have the exact same plant. I kind of like that though. This is a nice little bedroom. Looks real nice and airy, a little modern. I do need to do a little bit something more over here though. Should I make the TV bigger? Nah, that's too big. Damn. I would have liked to make it a little bit bigger though. What could we put on the roof line though? We could do lights of some sort. Is lights crazy though? Like white lights? White lights might be too much, right? Like a string of white light. I don't know. I like lights in the bedroom like that. I know it can kind of look a little girly, but I ain't gonna lie. The girls got it on that one because I put, y'all know I'm, I'm the light man. You know what I'm saying? I got all kind of lights. I've always had lights. I got, I had lights all around my house before Amazon was a thing. And then when Amazon became a thing and you could get LEDs quick and easy, I was like, yo, I'm getting all kind of light action going. But, um, so I had my strips. I got a, a little thin fairy wire, fairy light wire. And I hung it up on my wall with these little tiny clear clips. You don't even see it during the day. But at night when you go to bed, that's the only light I got out in my room. So it's like this little thin glow of these little fairy lights around my room. That shit looks amazing. It's like the perfect glow though. It's like a moonlight glow. So it's not too bright. It's not too, it's just an even warm glow. This shit looks so good at night. And that's how I like to sleep. Cause I mean, I used to sleep in pitch blackness. I don't really care. 
because I don't go to sleep until I literally pass out. So like some people like, oh, I can't sleep with no lights on or I can't sleep with the this on or I only have to sleep with the fan on, which I love having a fan on. I feel like if you don't sleep with a fan on, what is you doing? What is you doing if you don't sleep with a fan on? But, you know, everybody got their own little preferences. But uh, the lights, though, like I usually fall asleep when it's starting to be daylight or it already became daylight again. So a lot of times I don't get to sleep in pitch blackness no matter what I want it unless I bought blackout shades. But I just be up, man. I be working. I be editing. I be doing whatever until I get so tired I just pass out. And then when that happens, I couldn't care less what was on the TV or what was on or the lights or whatever, cause it's already too, too tired, man. You already too tired. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just being real. I didn't expect this to be, We I've been recording for an hour. I didn't expect this to take so long, but I did want to like make this look official though. Damn, I should have put the microwave there and then move the coffee machine here yeah look oh and we need a trash can too oh we could put the trash can right here matter of fact we could do two trash cans why am i doing two trash cans because you gotta have one for recycling man you know what I'm saying? gotta have your trash can and your recycling can this house is coming out real nice i like this place i like this place a lot i knew i would though because this apartment just has a little bit more space for you to like play play with the other one is so small that it's like damn you can't move around in this bit this one definitely has a little bit more space for you to be able to do what you gotta do i always say i want to play with like a washer and dryer but i never do should i do that should i play with a washer and dryer or do you think i would hate my life if i do that i don't know I honestly don't know because a washer and dryer can definitely be a pain in the butt for show sure. for show sure, for show sure. I ain't gonna wanna do it there. Mm, I could do it in the bathroom though. I could definitely do it in the bathroom. I don't know though, man. Washer and dryer? Nah, I ain't gonna do that. Cause it, it just it just makes the house a mess. Cause every single place they go to do something, it's like they just destroy the room because every time they change clothes, the clothes is on the floor. It just ends up making everything really more of a pain in the butt than it's worth. Do we need a PS5? Uh, I mean, the PS5 would look kind of nice sitting up on that thing right there. Hey, hey, y'all seen that one game that's coming out? Y'all seen that one game that's coming out? It's on the play. Oh, I already got a PC right there. Never mind. Never mind. I put one right there. Y'all see that new game that's coming out on PlayStation? It's the, uh, it's called Stellar Blade. I'm going to have to play that. I don't know if I'm going to play it on the channel because y'all ain't going to watch it, but I might play it anyway just because get some clips out of it or something. It's like I want to do something like storage up there but like that's just gonna look stupid does that look stupid kind of not gonna lie it kind of looks dumb yeah it kind of looks dumb what would you put up there though like what would you put up there would you put like maybe one of them little wall decals or something i mean you could do that but that's kind of too narrow i want something that's got a little bit of length on it that sounds crazy i mean maybe you could do some pictures like this but that's just just cluttered at that point <sighs> i don't know man i might i might be stuck with like damn i've had this picture forever that show you how old my cousin content is i think i had that back in 20 15 oh we got a youtube plaque i didn't even know we had youtube plaques you no know we got to show this off that look kind of small for a gold one let's say we got about we got two of them joints we got one on the gaming channel and we got one on the vlogging channel i don't know we got two youtube plaques this spooky ghost thing is kind of cool look at that it goes through the wall all right i think we i think we we did enough here i think we've done enough here we could always add more how much is this house even worth? Fifty thousand dollars. I wonder how much the rent is. We gotta check the rent real quick. Fifty thousand. Fifty thousand. I'm thinking the rent probably gonna be like a thousand a week. What's the rent? What's the rent? If the one we paying right now is, they don't tell you. Mm, weekly rent is six hundred. That ain't even that much. Six hundred. Lot traits needs TLC. Well, we gave it a lot of TLC. Let's go into this game and then I think I might have to move in there if they can. I don't think you need that much money to move apartments because it's not like you selling and buying a house. You just move into another unit. The only thing I am a little curious though is if I move, can I can I keep my furniture or sell my furniture? Because I got a lot of furniture 
that I, pro oh, I should probably sell it because I already furnished the other house. So I should sell my furniture that I got now. Damn, look at them buttons. Wait, 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 where's my, where's my sound? Where's my sound? Holy shit, look at them buttons. I'm just saying, God. And, and. She got big old titties. I'm saying. Holy shit, look at them buttons. She got big old titties. She looked kind of pregnant too. I did do an OnlyFans video. Yo, is she pregnant, yo? I was not trying to have a kid again. Wait, go in here and uh, it's a throw up. Why is throw up something we can do if she's not pregnant? Uh, pee like a champion. Polish to perfection. Huh. I didn't look like she had a baby bump for a minute. Okay, I do want to keep one picture though. I want to keep this picture right here, and I want to keep my 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 um metal case. So maybe I should throw that in the inventory. Yeah, let's put that in the inventory. Put this picture in the inventory because I want to keep both of them. Everything else could go. Uh, we could keep the thing from Bella though, since R.I.P. Bella. You know what I'm saying? And we could keep the. We don't need to keep the rose. Matter of fact, we could though. Let's just keep the rose. We already got a waterfall. The new house is just so much better. I do like this area though, or this one, but let's take our little pictures right there. Take a couple little clutter pieces so we ain't gotta try to find them again. Um, matter of fact, I'll take a few of these too, just to keep this a little bit simpler for myself. Can easily find this stuff when we go back to that other house. Cause I didn't add some of this to that house and some of it would look kind of nice in there. Just little stuff, you know what I mean? Little Sprite, Jolly Ranchers, the phone, little stuff that I ain't got time to be looking for again. Basically cleaning up this house while we, couple pairs of shoes. I literally just did this house. I don't know why I'm moving, but it's just like, I don't know, bro. The new house is just gonna be better. This one's just a little small. It's cause of the bedroom. The bedroom is like really little. In the bathroom, I kind of overdid this house. It's still nice though. And I want to take my pictures too. I did get some new ones I took, which I'm gonna have to go through them with y'all. So we got $3,500, $3,700. Now, can we just directly get up and move? Woo! Stayed in this place for like one week. Let's, can we move out? Move household, yeah, let's move household. I did shoot an OF video in here though. So we got a little something done. Hey, yeah, we ain't got enough money. We ain't got enough money, man. We need $14,000 to buy this house. If we sell the furniture. Yeah, we gonna have to collect some dough before we move out. We ain't got no money to move yet. We need to get $15,000 basically. Boy, ain't no way, boy. 15, 15,000? That's all right, that's all right. We could do it, we could do it. We just gotta collect $15,000. You know my boy, still got his job he still got the big dough let's turn the game up so he still got the big dough so we shouldn't have to worry too much about that y'all talking over me y'all just playing the game kicking it damn damn oh she kind of i don't know if she's not pregnant she just looked like she kind of pregnant oh shit i forgot we got the mods in can't show that <laughs> Can't show that, yo, can't show that. I can see it though. I forget, I can't be just so willy nilly with the camera now. We did clean up a little bit though. It looks nice that it's cleaned up, but we got, damn, she got through with that real fast. That's a nice new outfit you got on Nyla. Nyla got a huge upgrade. W girlfriend though, for sure. Uh, Let's see. So I don't go to work, but for I go to work in two days. She go to work in two days. Damn, that ain't hardly no money. What is that? I was visiting. Who the hell is that? Oh, is that Romeo? I did make him look a little older just to make time look like it passed. I was visiting some friends and figured a surprise visit would be nice. Let's hang out. We can eat, chat, or even do some push-ups. Where you at, Rome? Oh, there you go. See, that's my son right there. That's my son right there. He grew his beard out and his dreads and got long. That my son, man. That my son. My son looks the same age as me. That's the dope thing about having kids. If you stay young looking, it looks like y'all are like siblings y'all are actually parents let's fire him up let's fire him up let's boost my son up man let's gas him up let's gas up my boy uh, son, W family. Mumba Tarbo Bowl. going to the moon son we going to the moon yeah going to the moon son let's have a deep personal conversation father son type shit 
Phil Barr. Oh, Bruce Clark. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, all right, we could, uh, we can kick it with my. I need to go. Th- Matter of fact, y'all wanna um y'all wanna mess with them, the other household too. Oh, we got an event going on right now. Friends hang out. We're not friends. That's my son. But okay, we'll do friends. Can we play the game together though? Yeah, let's bring let's bring both of them into it. Got the whole family gaming, y'all. Look at that. We got the whole family gaming, yo. That's too dope. I love that. Look at that, man. This is all I want in the future, bro. This is all I want. I want a badass wife, fine as hell, good woman type shit, and I want a son as dope as hell. Or a daughter. Or a daughter. I don't really care. That's too dope. I love that. That is too dope. I don't know why Sonny Jr. don't never come over. He don't never come over. It's always Romeo. Romeo is the only one that actually come visit me. Sonny Jr. just be living his own life. Which, speaking of him, I got to go in there and show y'all the new girl I made for him. Because Savannah left. Savannah left, man. Y'all know Savannah flaked on him before with the prom thing, so she had some. She said she wanted to go to college, and she left. I was like, "Damn, Sonny Junior, what actually happened?" Oh shit, y'all playing Last of Us? How y'all playing Last of Us? This look like y'all really about to play this joint too. How y'all playing Last of Us though? Damn, they are actually playing it. I should replay Last of Us. I remember that game being really good, but it's so old. It feel like it wouldn't even be good no more. But I bet you the remake probably, because they remade it, it probably feel just like a good new game. It looked good though, looking at it. I might re I might replay that. I don't know. I might have to replay that. That shit looking kind of good. Something different. I'm surprised games like this don't get more views on YouTube. Not for my channel, but just in general. It seemed like like the dumb games get way more views than like the big AAA games do. Like it'd be a game like Poop Killer. Poop Killer get hella views. But then like last of us don't get nearly as many views maybe because people like like kids is watching poop killer okay wait we got too many people this girl is the same version of another girl okay yeah this is my daughter i forgot i never told y'all what happened with my daughter so my daughter moved out um she got on her nature shit heavy and moved out i don't know she gonna we're gonna play with her too but right now she's uh she's in limbo right now we gotta get her a house um then we got this household which i haven't even touched them yet this is with the crazy dude that kidnapped allison and these all her kids and then that's his girl and this other girl he kidnapped that was a crazy those are really good videos on OnlyFans. So if y'all go over to OnlyFans, y'all gotta check them out man those were really good videos my creativity was just flowing with that it was like yo i was making a novel but this is uh this is the kids man this is sunny jr this is romeo summer i told y'all summer looked like scissor right so basically what i did was i gave her this hair and it she really looks like scissor now like i mean she is scissor basically like look at that if that ain't scissor i don't know who is and all i did was change her hair that's all i did but sunny jr this girl lillian tamagotchi lillian what's her name lillian tamamaki she's basically like janae aiko so I don't remember why I made her because I made her with light eyes like this. Oh, because I was watching this girl on Twitch. Her name is Atavia, Atavia. I was watching her. She light skin with light eyes. And I was like, yo, she kind of, you know what I'm saying? I kind of like that. I'm going to make it make it sound kind of resemble her. But so y'all know I'd be on my like Hawaii vibes, nature vibes. So I was like, let me just make somebody look like they just walked out the mountains of Hawaii. So she ended up coming out like Janae Aiko, but her base is actually uh janet if you remember janet so a lot of her makeup and stuff is a little darker because she's lighter than what janet was but it still kind of fit she just looked more like latina she got some latina action going but this look looks different than every other outfit so i don't know 
she hella short she got big titties and a fatty so i was like yo i mean you know add her to the series some kind of way sunny jr got a better beard he's growing up you know what i'm saying he's got the original sunny daniel original which i'm growing this in i'm growing my little this little i always shave that to make it square but i'm gonna let this grow in i think it's gonna give me mo it might give me some mo grown man beard looking shit which i might like i might not like i don't know i'm gonna grow it and see how i like it but yeah he still got his braids and all of that still the same uh what's his main outfit just something chill yeah something chill but lillian is gonna be his girl they're not actually in a relationship right now and then romeo he's still the same he just got his hair getting longer his beard getting long and he's still with uh summer so right now sunny jr is actually single and so is lillian but the storyline is that lillian was actually summer's friend and since summer is really carrying this entire household because without summer there would be no penthouse living because they're all living in this really nice apartment and the only reason they live in here is because summer bought it with the money she had from the store which is a big leap being somebody that didn't have nothing and then sharing it with your family and friends is kind of crazy it's w summer you know what i'm saying but i don't know if i want to stay in this apartment though that's what i was about to say i don't know if i want to stay in this apartment maybe i should make this maybe i should make them buy that apartment i just did but i don't want to do that because that's only a one bedroom so yeah that's summer's friend man summer's friend lillian they kind of got the same hair going right now but uh okay damn y'all ain't cool with each other oh, okay yeah y'all cool y'all supposed to be best friends man don't mess up the story oh yeah this apartment is too nice we definitely staying here i kind of forgot how nice this place was it's a little bare it's still really nice though we gotta stay there we gotta stay here never mind all right but sunny jr you gotta talk to lillian because y'all don't even know each other yet and since savannah left your ass we gonna bring her into the mix <laughs> she really look like janae aiko though don't she and you know we love janae aiko man everybody love janae aiko i ain't never met a dude that said they didn't like janae aiko to be honest she embodies the the like pretty nature loving side of females that all men love me included got that bill cosby going the cosby show was such a good show man it's a shame that bill bill ruined his uh bill ruined his reputation like that it's crazy back in my grandma's time they used to always say she looked like her but i always thought my grandma looked better than her she kind of resembles my grandma a little bit but they do they do kind of look similar but not really but yeah, man, a Cosby show, W show. But now we got custom content, though. So we could actually buy better furniture. We got $1,700, though. And we supposed to be saving money to get a store, though. That's why none of this is really decorated that well. We were saving money to get a store. Yo, Sonny Jr., man, you got to go make your move on her, bro. She over here watching the Cosby show by her damn self. Do a little flirt action, Brody. You got the magnet going. I forgot what that means. I think that means you attracted to her. Where are you even at right now? Take your dumb ass in here and flirt with her, bruh. Like I said, you got the magnet going. Yeah, do your thing. We ain't got no thermostat in here, huh? Let me get a thermostat because I'm tired of them walking around in their winter clothes. Therm. How you spell thermostat? Thermostat. Thermostat. Third T H E. Therm. That's definitely not how you spell it. Therm. Therm. Yeah, there it is. Therm. Thermostat. H and B thermostat. Yeah, let's get the actual thermostat just in case it don't work with the other one. Make that joint black. That way we can set that. We can set the heat so they don't have to walk around in their outside clothes. I hate when they do that. Okay, she feeling the flirt though. She feeling the flirt. My bad, bruh. You keep flirting, bruh. You you got you got something going right now. Summer, help your boy out and set the thermostat. Help your boy out. That's like your baby brother, yeah. Help your baby brother out. My boy going in right now. Yeah, she fine as hell. I like them teeth. Them them the custom content teeth, man. They like perfect teeth. She likes jokes. See, look at them teeth, man. Them teeth look amazing in here. It really just 
it makes the sim look so much better i'm surprised why the sims don't do shit like that like i guess they focus on things that they think people want and they don't focus on the little stuff but like i don't know bro they should make so many different changes but you know i'm gonna be playing enzoi i don't even think i could play it yet i'm kind of salty they ain't send me a, a code because enzoi matter of fact let me just have this playing i'll turn it down enzoi looked like a really good game but they didn't send me no code now i don't think they know about me or something you know what i mean i ain't that big they probably like i don't even know you bro um i did notice they had sent the code to some people not mentioning no names but they wasn't really appreciating the game because the game didn't have a bunch of pronouns and shit in it but i'll definitely be playing enzoi when i when i can definitely because it looked like it's gonna be super realistic i like that hyper realism i know it's not always the like not always the best for longevity because the game starts to look old if it don't keep up but if you keep up it ain't gonna never look bad that's like Fortnite. Fortnite didn't used to look as good as it looked now, but now it looks real good. Who is singing? Oh, that's the TV. Man, she blew a kiss to my boy. Yeah, I feel that, bro. Shit, y'all hitting it off pretty nice right now. Can we snuggle? Can you snuggle on this couch? I don't even know if you can snuggle. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. You can snuggle. Look at my boy. Wait, can we make a move and shit? And look deeply in eyes. Summer, you ain't looking too happy right now. Where's Romeo at? Are you mad cause cause he getting so much romance and, you, and your man ain't even here? Damn, look at my boy, Sonny Junior going crazy. Little Junior going crazy in here with Janae Aiko. See, this is why I like the Sams, man. All right, let's see what he do. Let's see what he do. What you gonna do from here, son? What you gonna do from here? You gotta make your move, man. You gotta make your move. All eyes is on you. All eyes is on you, man. Come on, bro. Make your move, bro. He ain't doing nothing. Damn, he kissed her on the forehead? Damn. I'm just watching this shit like a movie. Oh, this is look deeply into eyes. I like Savannah, but Savannah wasn't this fine. Oh, shit. Look at my boy. He got perfect teeth, too. Look at my boy. It's kind of crazy. Y'all still got on y'all outside clothes, too. Them some nice boots she got on, though. Oh, he giving them a massage. Damn, y'all. Okay. Oh, they gonna Romeo. Look at Rome. Romy Rome, you need to give your girl some love, bro. She ain't, um, whoops, wrong person. You need to give your girl some love, bro. She ain't too happy right now. You need to do a suave kiss or something. But Junior, matter of fact, let's switch clothes because I don't know why they still in their outside clothes. Unless Summer didn't set the thermostat. No, she definitely did. Everybody need to put on their they, they at-home clothes. Yeah, everybody put on their at-home clothes. Oh, shit, she really look good. Have what are we talk. Yo, let's have a what are we talk. I ain't never even seen that before. Damn, yo. See, this is why I had to replace Savannah. Do you see that? I mean, damn. She had to. Okay. What'd that do? What was that? So that was the what are we talk? I mean, come on, bro. I mean, you, 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 I mean, do I have to make the decision for you? I mean, you might as well go ahead and get down on one knee and marry this girl. I mean, I ain't gonna lie to you. I don't know what else you waiting on. What else you waiting on, boy? You ain't getting nothing better than that. Have a magical first kiss in the air. What the hell is that gonna be? What you gonna do? What you gonna do, son? What you gonna do, Junior? Damn. Okay, okay, I see you, I see you, I see you, I see you. Look at Junior. Now we'll do an actual first kiss to locking in with the gang. Our bodies weren't designed to be apart. Wanna close the distance. You mean you wanna have sex? I'm down with that. I mean... This is kind of the process. Damn, y'all got hearts flying everywhere. Look at this. Damn, son. 
Yo, I ain't so. mad at you. I ain't mad at you. Where y'all going, though? Are y'all going in the shower to do it? Y'all gonna have to catch this on the OnlyFans. You know what I'm saying? They wanted to do it. I gotta let them do it. At least a little something. But listen, look, I got a new screen for that, too. So whenever we want to go to the OnlyFans videos, take me out the equation, throw my logo in. Come on, bro. I'm, I'm, my setup is about to be so dope. But yeah, let's shoot this little OnlyFans video for them real quick. Yo, that was a damn good scene. Y'all got to go over to the OnlyFans. Check it out, man. Just saying. Y'all got to go check that on the OnlyFans. Shit kind of went crazy. Romeo and Summer joined in and they came into the shower and it was a lot, man. It was a lot. So if y'all want to see that uncut little video, I'm going to put it together real nice. That's going to be on the OF. They in love, though. They in love for sure. Like, he going to go ahead and he going to lock this in right now in the shower. Damn, they shit went all the way, all the way, all the way up. So we going to ask her to be his girlfriend now. They going to just seal that in. Because, I mean, after that session that just happened, I mean, you got to kind of seal the deal. Mostly with somebody that's that fine. Come on now. And she seemed like a good person. How do we know that? I don't know. She just fine as hell. That's really that's really what makes her a good person. This lighting is crazy in here. It's so bright. Y'all way too damn light for this bright ass room. <laughs> this is the aftermath, yo. Look at the aftermath, yo. They knocked out on the couch. They chilling, you know what I mean? It's good vibes in here, man. I'm telling you, I got the best Sim series, man. I might I might not people people don't know, but I got the best Sim series, man. And I combine OnlyFans with the YouTube and it's just like you get best of both worlds. Like, come on now. You can't beat that. So now that everybody kind of locked in, which they was already locked in, but they not locked in. They in a relationship. Everybody's moods is ass because we've been focusing on the um the OF. Who's got the best cooking skill? Can anybody cook? Romeo got a five. Junior got a two. Summer got a two. And Lillian got a one. All right, Romeo, you gonna need, you get you gotta make everybody some food, bro. Romeo, go ahead and cook a uh cook a grand meal, cook a turkey, not nah, yeah, cook a turkey dinner, bro. Is this for everybody though? I wanna have I wanna have him cook a grand meal. Yeah, let's cook a turkey dinner. Let's have Romeo cook a turkey dinner. Let's have Lillian. I don't know if you could do this at the same time. Let's have Lillian. I thought you could bake cookies. I swear I just saw something on here to bake cookies, but I guess not. You can bake. Mm, we could bake some brownies. Let's see if they can both cook. So Romeo going to make the food and Lillian's going to make the brownies. Uh, she had a baby bottle over her face. Yo, are you pregnant, Lillian? Wait, let me check this out real quick. Take a pregnancy test. Damn, man. Look at, look at, look at, look at, I mean, I mean, all I got to say is. She got big old titties. You know what I'm saying? Let's see about this pregnancy test, though. See what it do, what it do, what it do. Ooh, shit. So Lillian is now pregnant? Damn, I wasn't expecting that. What about Summer? Summer, you take one, too. I forgot you could get pregnant by uh Wicked Whims. Damn, I forgot all about getting pregnant by Wicked Whims. Let's see what Summer got. All right, Summer's not pregnant. So you know what? That's kind of dope, though, because Sonny Jr. and Lillian locked in really quick anyway. It was like they locked in super quick. Look at my boy, Rome. Rome in here making a turkey dinner. Look at that turkey. That shit look good as hell, Rome. I ain't going to lie. Why ain't you invite me over, man? You need to invite me and your mama over. Okay. All right, everybody grab something to eat. You grab a serving, you grab a serving, you grab a serving, and you grab a serving. Oh. Everybody getting some food. We should be eating at the table. Damn, that food look good. Look at Rome, man. Rome in here throwing down. Look at Rome in here throwing down. We got the whole family. Come on, man. You can't tell me this ain't dope right here. We got the whole family in here eating. I don't even do this in my own household. W Rome though, man. This shit look Yo, good boy. as hell. Lillian fine as shit. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, look at my look at my children's and my children's girlfriends and shit. Now I did notice when we was doing that OnlyFans video, Rome had like some kind of disease. I think he was just sick though. I don't think that was no kind of other kind of disease. But Lillian's pregnant. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna pause this episode here because next episode we are gonna have a wedding. She got big old titties. And we're going to do a wedding, like a real wedding with them too, because they about to lock it in like instantly, bro. Instantly. Because I taught my son right. I said, son, listen, if you find you a good woman and she a 8, 9, 10, you marry that girl immediately. And he said, but dad, what about the hoes? I say, son, listen, you don't want these hoes. Leave these bottom feeding hoes 
for these bottom feeding fish you strive for the best and then you lock that shit in get married have kids that's what i told my boy man that's what i told my boy my boy listen to me man i'm proud of my son yo but i'm gonna pause this episode here in the next episode we're gonna do a little wedding action we're gonna do something like that and we gonna this has been this was a great episode though and y'all gotta go over to only fans now because that shit was lit in the shower i love y'all that was amazing <laughs> All of those long, hard hours of working definitely pay off. I see that. I see that. Sunny Daniel Enterprises.